So you've defeated an epic monster, and you've collected Valor. Now what are you going to do with it? Find out in this video how to spend your Valor. Welcome back, everyone. This is Jackhammer Joe. Today, we're going to be looking at what to do with Valor. If you've checked out some of my other videos, please make sure that you do me a favor, help out the channel, and subscribe. Hit this video with a like, and we'll jump in to spending your Valor. So you've defeated an epic monster, and you've collected Valor. Now what are we going to do with it? We'll go down right here to the Academy, and it might look different depending on what browser you were using. And you'll see your different options of what to spend. Guardsmen, these are conquest points. Check out for the little Valor option. You have your engineering corpse, your monsters, archaeology, blacksmithing, and so on. And then you have your boosts where you can spend Valor on your economy or on logistics. Now, what I didn't know at the beginning was what any of this stuff was, so I just started filling out whatever I thought was best. So, um, so take a look first and think, what are your goals in the game? Are you early on and you're a brand new player to the game and you want to build your economy? You go in here, you can increase your stone productions uh, and the, the buildings within your city build up your capacity, your construction, and so on. It's really up to you how far you want to go, how high do you want to get these sacred potion levels uh, and the different productions. And at some point, you will reach a spot where it will tell you, hey, your training limit queue, you have to hit level one before you can move on. Uh, so there you go. You can see it's going to cost 9.6 million in Valor to get that 900 in might. And at the same time, do you want to increase your logistics? How you gather throughout the map? How far can you go? How far do your troops march? If it was me and I was starting over, just starting out in the game, uh, resources are kind of scarce, especially if you're not in a large clan. So for the most part, as I was collecting Valor, I would eliminate, you know, stay away from these guardsmen and really building up your army pieces to the game. You're not going to be able to get to the monsters until you actually get far enough along where you can acquire them. Um, but you might want to go through. Of course, you're going to have to unlock your level 1s. Uh, and then at some point, you're going to want your level 2s to make your army stronger. And you'll hit a spot where you have to be at a certain level of carry capacity before you can advance to increase. And I believe you have to have your academy at a certain level. Um, before you can start. It might even be your barracks too. I don't recall specifically when I was at that point. Here it just says my car your guardsman carry capacity has to be at a level 8. I'm at a level 7 right now uh, before I can start adding the archers, spearmen. And I believe there was a couple other caveats like my academy had to be at a certain level. Uh, my barracks had to be at a certain level, which I've already reached those and cross that out. Maybe if I go a little bit further here, we can see, here we go. So if I wanted to get to Spearman level five, my academy would have to be at a level 25, and the march speed number three would have to be at a level 10. Okay, so if I was to start over, um, I would start going into the boost and looking at my economy. You're going to need, in order to build your civilization, in order to build up the different buildings, you're going to need a lot of stone, iron, lumber. So I'd start right here. Start hammering out these three. Start increasing your capacity. If it gets to a point where you don't have a lot of valor, where really the valor versus reward isn't there, so right now, training limit queue, right? I have to spend 9.6 million for 900 in might. That's really not all that appealing to me at this present time. Uh, so I'm, I wouldn't worry about that. Look at something that's going to appeal to you. But I would start with the economy and then go back and start building up your guardsmen so that you can get to this next level two and build your army out that way. So just a real quick, five minute tip here on how to spend your valor once you have it again if you're starting out with the game i'd focus on your boost build up your economy after you've unlocked your first guardsman 
and then slowly go on. And, and if you have enough valor, you can go through these pretty quick, especially if you've defeated some of the epic monsters. And if you don't know how to do that, please check out some of the other videos that I've put together. I'll have some links in the description that you can click on and check out those videos on how to gain valor uh, by competing against the epic monster squads. Uh, that's it for this video. I'm Jack Jackhammer Joe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.